everyone, thanks for joining me on another episode of Adorama TV. My name is Emily Teague and today we're talking all about lighting. I've released a few videos with Adorama talking about lighting before, so if you haven't seen them, go check them out. But today we're talking about umbrellas. Umbrellas are super affordable, they're lightweight, they're easy to set up, and it's where a lot of photographers start when they're first trying to understand how to manipulate light. I'm using my Ellen Chrome ELC 125 today. This is a really portable, lightweight strobe. It's also great for the balance in affordability and reliability. But no matter what strobe you're using, everything I'm teaching today is applicable to all lighting. So I've got my two umbrellas here today. I've got my 41 inch translucent umbrella and I've got my 49 inch white reflective umbrella. Let's talk about my translucent one first. So this one is going to soften the light from my strobe. It's also going to make that light a little bit broader. The one downside to this is it's likely going to create a hot spot. Unlike my second light here, for this one, my strobe is going to be bouncing inside of this. It's going to hit that white reflective fabric. It's gonna come back in my model and it's gonna be a little bit softer. This also has a broader spill for the light. So if you're shooting groups, more than one person, this is probably gonna be your umbrella of choice. Another thing to keep in mind when you're choosing an umbrella is if you have a shallow umbrella, it's going to have a wider spread of light. But if you have a deeper umbrella or really any modifier, it's going to have a more focused and controlled spread of light. A helpful way to understand this is by imagining your modifier as a spout for water and your light is the water coming out. So imagine we have the shallow modifier. The light is going to spread more as it comes out, but if you have a deeper modifier, the light's gonna be more guided with the longer sides. And so it's going to come out more in a controlled and focused way. So I'm gonna show you a few different lighting setups using just one light and one umbrella, um, which should be hopefully pretty applicable to anyone who's starting out in lighting and maybe doesn't have a bunch of gear. And I'll introduce you to my model, Masumi, who's helped me on a bunch of projects before. If you've watched my lighting videos in the past, you might recognize her and we'll dive right in. So we're here on set with Masumi. I've got her wearing this beautiful bohemian style top and to complement that, we just have this really neutral colored background from Savage. I've got a light directly in front of her and for this first setup, just to show you the difference, I have taken off my reflector and it's just bare bulb going through, straight through an umbrella. It's gonna give us a little bit of a flat look, but why don't we test it out and see exactly what it looks like. Let's give that a look. So this is looking nice. It is a little bit flat. Um, just for the challenge today, I'm not gonna use any other modifier. So since I know I'm stuck with my white umbrella, again, I'm just going to add on this reflector and that's going to give a little bit more contrast. It's going to focus our light just a little bit more. So let's throw that on and see what it looks like. Okay, so I've put on my reflector. Let's do the exact same shot. Now we can really see the difference in light. Let's compare those two. So this is our most recent shot compared to what we've had before. If you look at her skin, you can see there's a lot more contrast. You can also see it on her chest. We have all this lightness here versus in the other one. It's just a little softer and flatter. For my personal preference, being a fashion photographer, I like this contrast and the light that we're getting with our reflector a little bit more. So I'm gonna keep that on as we continue. So let's get a few more shots and just dial in this look. Masumi, you look beautiful. Great. Let's look at those. Beautiful. So we can see her catch light is around 12 o'clock. It's pretty defined. Um, it's a little bit small too, but we're still getting that nice soft light. You can especially see it during these transitions from highlights to shadow around her collarbone, around her neck, under her jawline. Everything is just nice, soft. This is a pretty basic setup. And just to tell you my settings, I'm at 1 1 60th of a second. My aperture is at 6.3. My ISO is at 100. And the power on my strobe is at 3.2 but don't get caught up on that number too much. If you need more power, just raise that number up. If you need less power, just lower it down. So just to kind of summarize this first look, we have about five feet from Masumi to where my modifier starts. Um, my light is raised up so I can get the catch light more at 12 o'clock in her eyes. Pretty much any time I'm doing portrait work, I'm gonna raise my light up just a little bit. So it's not just down here coming directly at her just because that's gonna create some more flat, less dimensional lighting. So why don't we move on to our next setup, which is where I'm gonna take this light and I'm gonna move it more to a side light for her. Let's see how that looks.
Let's try right there. Okay, so a lot of things I notice here. The first is that we're going to have to lower our power on our strobe because we've moved it much closer to her and we're now blowing out some of the facial features that she has. The second thing is on her left hand side, her face is now really, really dark. So we're gonna balance that by just adding in a white V-flat. We could also just do a white piece of fabric, a white piece of paper, really anything that is white and reflective and can bounce some light back into her. Okay, so I've just powered my strobe down from 3.2 to 2.4. Let's take another shot. And we'll compare that. So we can be, see before it was really blown out. Now we're getting a little bit more even on her face. Now that we've got that done, why don't we add in our white V-flat to bounce some light back in. So I've just lowered my power to 2.3. Let's take a test shot. Great. And now that V-flat is filling a lot of the shadows on the left side of her face. Before we had this really, really dark shadowed area and that's just completely lifted it up. And you don't need an expensive V-flat to have light bounce back. You can go to an art supply store, you can get white paper, a white sheet, really as long as this light can come, hit this white reflective surface and have it bounce back, that's gonna help you out a lot. So why don't we try adding another bounce? We're actually gonna get a reflector, which is only like $20 and just throw it right under her and that's going to bounce some light back up on her face. Let's do that real quick. So all I've done is I've added this reflector um, by booming it out on this arm and I've added a couple apple boxes as well. These are really handy um, just to prop anything up, to sit on, you can use them for all sorts of stuff. Um, but for today, we are gonna use this to hold up my reflector. So if you look at this lighting setup, we're having light come from our umbrella right here. It's gonna travel towards this white V-flat, which is gonna come back at Masumi. We're also getting light that's spilling down onto the silver reflector, which is gonna give some nice contrast and it's gonna bounce a lot of light back up at her. So this should help get rid of a lot of those shadows that we had. Why don't we check it out? Beautiful. Let's see that comparison. You can see it's quite a lot. So we had a bunch of those shadows on her left hand side. That reflector is just taking care of a lot of them. It also creates a catch light at the bottom of her eye. So we now have two catch lights in her eye. Let's try getting some straight on shots just with and without. Okay, so I've just taken away my reflector for this shot just to do a complete comparison. So I'm assuming I'm gonna have you completely square off, just be straight and centered. Beautiful. So this is without. And now with our reflector. Let's look at those two images together. This should really show you the difference without and with. It's just lightening up a bunch of those shadows, bringing in a catch light, creating a much more flattering look. So let's take a few more shots and we'll just dial in this look. As I'm taking these images, it's still looking a little dark, so I'm just gonna raise my power to 2.4. And that's looking really nice to me. Beautiful. Okay, so again, just summing this all up, we've got our white umbrella bouncing off our white V-flat, bouncing off this silver reflector. Um, and I know I have some stuff like my C-stand or my V-flat that you know might be a bit out of some people's price range, so why don't we just talk about ways that this could all be applicable to everyone? We've got our white umbrella, super cheap. You can use any kind of white paper instead of a V-flat. This guy is probably about $20. You might be able to find it for less. And then here you can just use a stool, anything to prop this up. I'm using Apple boxes because it's what I have in my studio, but anything, a chair, just anything that can hold this up will work great. Or if you don't have a stool even, you can just have uh, your model hold it. So why don't we demonstrate that real quick just to show you. Beautiful. We're actually having it a little bit closer to her face now that she's holding it, so it's actually giving us a little bit more light, although she can't use her arms now. So stool might be the way to go. 
Okay, so we've got those looks dialed in. For this next one, why don't we take our light? We're actually gonna place this behind Masumi. It's gonna give her some really nice backlight. We're gonna bring her forward, and then we're gonna take our white V-flat, and we're actually gonna move it right to where I am. So our light's gonna be coming forward, giving her backlight, hitting that V-flat, and then coming back for her. Let's try that out. Okay, so for this next setup, um, I've moved Masumi farther away from our background. I've moved our light directly behind her, so this should create some really beautiful highlights on her hair. And I put this white V-flat right here, so our light's gonna come from behind, it's gonna touch her, which is gonna give her some nice highlight, it's gonna hit this white V-flat, it's gonna come onto our reflector, come back onto her, um, and it should look really good. We'll have to adjust our power settings a bit, like, let's try this out. Okay, so let's take that shot. Right off the bat, we can see it's really, really dark. Um, I do love that highlight on her hair. We're gonna need to bump our power a lot. So we're at 2.4 right now. Let's try 5.6, 4.2 for my light. Let's try a shot. And that's looking really beautiful. Let me try looking over that way for me. Gorgeous. Beautiful, and then try looking towards the light just to see how it's looking. Okay, so looking at this shot, the first thing that I'm looking at is she's got these really large catch lights in her eye that's coming from the V-flat because it's reflective. You can see in the center there's that little dark spot that's actually me. <laughs> so that's the first thing I'm looking at. The lighting is really beautiful and even I might change it so her chin's pointed a little bit more that way so we get rid of some of this highlight on her nose. Right here, this spot's pretty bright for me, so I could either, I could do a couple things. I could flag that spot off by putting a dark surface there so that light's not hitting right there, but we're still getting the highlight on her hair. Or I could lower the power down and adjust my other settings like this. But this is looking like a pretty good place just to kind of show this technique. So I'm happy with this look. I'm gonna take a few more shots just to get a shot that I really like, and then we'll dive into our next look and we'll switch umbrellas too. For this next look, I've got the same lighting setup. I still have Masumi in the same place, reflector in the same place, white V-flat in the same place, C-stand in the same place, but we've got a new umbrella. So we're adding in our second umbrella. This is our white reflective one. You can now see it open and everything that it is like. So again, our strobe is just gonna be hitting that center. It's gonna come back. Um, we're still going to get that nice highlight on her hair. It's still gonna hit over here. But this time, because it's not pointed directly at her, I think we should get rid of kind of that hot spot that we had in the upper right-hand corner before and just kind of get a softer look. So let's start playing around with this. Let's compare these shots. So this is our shot currently, and this was with the white translucent umbrella. So with the translucent shoot through, you see in this upper right-hand corner, we have this really hot spot. There's um, a bit of overexposure going on. And then when we bring in this new shot, with the new umbrella, you can see our background is now evenly lit. That um, exposed area on her collarbone has been toned down a bit. Her face is looking a lot more even. For me, I really prefer this kind of more flattering, soft look. Uh, neither of them are wrong and you can use either that you like, but let's play with this a little more and find a shot that we're really happy with. Beautiful, and then just play around. Gorgeous. So one thing that I noticed while I was shooting is her face was looking just a little tiny bit too dark for me. So all I did was raise my ISO from 125 up to 160. And now nothing's really too overexposed for me. There is this, this bright highlight on her neck and on her collarbone, on her hair, but I'm okay with that. And her face is looking really properly exposed and beautiful to me. So this is a look I'm really happy with. Let's dive into our next one. So I've completely changed my setup. Um, this is actually kind of similar to what we started with, with our white translucent, but instead of pointing it directly at her because we have our white reflective umbrella, the strobe is pointed the opposite way of Masumi, hitting our white umbrella and then coming back at her. So let's just take a test and see how this compares. So a totally different look from what we had before. Why don't we compare this to what we started with at the beginning of the day with that light and a similar setup what with the translucent umbrella instead. So this is what we started with. This is the white translucent umbrella pointed directly at her. And now this is what we are working with now. 
some things that I've changed. Um, in that first shot, she was a lot closer to the backdrop. I've moved her away um, since we had that second, that last setup that we did. I've also changed my settings quite a bit. So my shutter, I'm now at 1 1 25th of a second. My aperture is at 5.6, my ISO is at 125, and my power I had to take way down, I'm now at 1.8. Okay, so let's get some shots. Beautiful. Miss me, if you wanna move this shoulder to me a little bit more. Yeah, that looks great. Lovely. Great. Okay, so my very last look for the day is essentially a kind of clamshell like lighting. We have our strobe right here pointing up. Um, it's also, I've raised my strobe, I've angled it up. So this light is going to be coming down at her. It's gonna be hitting this silver reflector, coming back up at her. I think this should create some very different lighting from what we've been getting and something with a bit more um, edge to it. So let's play around. Very nice, let's look at that. Okay, so this is some really cool lighting. First thing to talk about is just where my settings are at. I'm at 1 125th for my shutter speed, 5.6 for my aperture, ISO 100, and my light is currently at 1.8. I might try dialing my light back just a little bit, um, but this is looking really good to me. You can see her catch lights, we have them about 12 and six with that typical clamshell lighting kind of effect. Um, I'm getting some beautiful shadows under her jawline. I really like the way that the light is kind of centered down her. So let's take some more shots. And give me some shorter. Really nice. Let's try shoulders the other way. Gorgeous. And looking straight towards the kitchen. So I've just been playing around. Um, I love the way her hair looks. I love that we're getting shadows, but there's still this really nice sheen to it. No area looks too overexposed to me. This is just some really beautiful portrait lighting, which again, we just are using one strobe, one umbrella, a reflector that's probably about $20. Really, really simple. Hopefully those lighting setups were helpful to you and applicable. You can see that you really just need one strobe and an umbrella and you can create beautiful portrait lighting. So I will see you guys next time, but in the meantime, let me know in the comments below what you thought about this video, what you would like to know. Um, really just let me know anything. I love reading the comment section, so give me your thoughts and I will see you guys next time.